So yeah, this is the damage. It's literally smashed the architrave off there. This bit I can glue. I can glue and screw back that bit. That's fine. I'm gonna take a section out of here though. Big chunk come out of here. So I'll take a section out of there. Scarf some new timber in there, and put the lights back on. Sorry to any of you Arsenal fans out there, but pretty true. Some dickheads out there, aren't they? Right, let's go and get this sorted. Thing. Good morning, everybody. It is 10 o'clock, Saturday morning. Um, I had a call from a lady who um, has had a, an attempted break-in this morning. Um, she sent me some photos, and I'll uh, I'll show you them. I'll show you them here. I'll show you them now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's uh, they, they've made quite a bit of mess. Luckily, they didn't get in. Um, I presume they had the deadlock on because of the amount of mess that they've made on the night latch, um, you know, well, the, the keeps actually come flying off. So, um, but yeah, luckily the deadlock was on, so they didn't actually get in. So yeah, we're just gonna go there and see if we can help these guys out and um, and get it made good for them. See you there. Yeah, so I've just um, just been talking to the guy uh, to find out what was going on, and uh, so basically he got woken up at half past six this morning by somebody kicking the, you know, trying to kick the door in. So um, he got out of bed and answered the door, and he said to the guy, "What are you doing?" And he went, oh, "I thought this was my um, my Airbnb." And he said, "No, it's not, mate. It's my flat." Anyway, so with that, he shut the door, and and then the guy started kicking it in again. So he said, "Mate, what are you doing? I'm calling the police." Well, he said, no, what are, you, what are you going to do? And he said, oh, I'll call the police. And I mean, with that, he's kind of gone. But yeah, I'm an absolute idiot. I mean, the good thing is nothing's broken. I can reuse the night latch. Um, they used the deadbolt as well, which is obviously why he couldn't get in. And there's no damage to that. So that's good. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit of making good on the timber. But uh, he's a really nice kid as well. Some dickheads out there, aren't there? Right, let's go and get this sorted for him. So yeah, this is the damage. It's literally smashed the architrave off there. This bit I can glue. I can glue and screw back that bit, that's fine. I'm gonna take a section out of here though. Big chunk come out of here. So I'll take a section out of there, scarf some new timber in there, and put the lights back on. Just having a little bit of a clean up with the Makita, the because there's some there's some like cement and that that's come out from the back of the Back of the door frame, so obviously you want to make sure I don't start treading that into that carpet. So. A little bit of a clean up there. Yeah, I'm not That strip glued back there with my fix, that's absolutely solid now. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna probably mark 18 mil down here. So, I've got some 18 mil timber like that. So, I'll just mark and that to the front, to the front, sorry. So, I'll mark the back side of that and then we'll cut down this little bit here and whip all of that off across there. Scarf a new bit of timber in there. And then we can put the architrave back on and the lock back on. A little bit of noise coming up.
to any of you Arsenal fans out there, but pretty true. Right, that's that section cut out there. So now I've got my timber. There's some slot in there, so I just need to cut that. You see I've marked the top there. Cut that to fit in there. And then uh, we can get this architrave back on and get the lock back on. That's the timber dry fitted in there now. So I'll whip this back out. Put some glue on the back of that and then put a couple of, probably probably put three, three screws in that and that'll stop that from happening again hopefully. All right, that's the bit of timber glued and screwed in. But now the door was catching down that edge. Um, it does shut but it's just, yeah, catching. So I'm just gonna plane a bit off of that. So thank you, the guy. I did a tool bag tour a little while ago and there was a guy that commented when I took my took my planes out of my tool bag so I don't need to use them. He said, uh, just put them under your put them under your chair mate in your van, you never know when you're gonna use it. Thank you, because I did and I need it. Alright, there we go, just planed a little bit off there and down there. And now shuts beautifully. So we're nearly ready to put the latch back on. Right, the architrave back on, a bit of filling and we're done. Another little tip for you guys, I'm just about to put the architrave back on and I'm reusing the old the old pins that come out. Um, but a little tip to stop them from splitting is hold your nail up like that and just give it a tap on the, I can't do it, I can't show you because I'm trying to hold my phone as well, but yeah, just blunt the end off of the hammer, give it a little tap, a couple of little knocks and it'll just stop the architrave from splitting at the end. All right, so that's the door shut in. Architrave's all back on, that's made good. So I've just got a bit of filling to do now. Uh, I've got to do a bit of filling around the architrave, down the back there, and up there, and then this one is done. So that's the two pack through the one around there, up that little bit there, and the architrave split. Um, so just let that go off a bit, give that a sound, and then we'll do the rest with cork. Right, there we go, guys. That's all done. Um, all made good. Um, that was where the the architrave was snapped, and got the keep back on. All filled around, filled down there, and that is it. They were I'm glad I was able to, able to, um, to help them out. Um, yeah, it made a right mess. There's some dickheads in this world, isn't there? Um, apparently, he got, he got quite aggressive, this guy that, that tried kicking the door in. But um, thankfully, um, they, they had the uh, deadlock. Uh, the deadlock was fitted, so um, and it was on. So, be surprised how many people don't use their deadlocks, but you've got to use them, man. Seriously, that's that's what saved them, what saved the guy from, from actually getting in. But yeah, so it's, what is it now? 20 past 12. I'm gonna go and have some lunch. Right, thanks for watching guys. Give us a thumbs up, any nice comments down there, no sausage ones. And uh, remember to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay,